All right, the last thing we're gonna have a look at is typing feedback. And we need to make sure we turn on two things in this to make sure this is working. So I'm in accessibility and I'm in the spoken content menu and I'm gonna tap on typing feedback. And you can see it says characters, character hints, speak words, speak auto text, hold to speak predictions. Let's have a look at hold to speak predictions and how this can be helpful to students. So let's toggle this one on. Now to make sure this is working, we also need to go to general and tap on keyboard and make sure on the keyboard that our predictive text is turned on. So I'm gonna to toggle that off so you see where it is and then toggle it back on. So if it's not working, just come into general and keyboards and make sure that predictive is turned on. Now I'm gonna go back to my pages document we were using before. All right, I'm gonna delete some of this text so you can see what this does. Now, as I start to type out the word, you can see the prediction of the word comes up on the keyboard. If I tap and hold on the word, it will speak it out to me. Violet. And that can be a really good way for students to hear as they're typing. And that can be some really good feedback to students. So let's try another word. And you can see that there's three predictions so that students can choose which one they want to listen to. Stretches. The only thing is that when students do this, if they hold over that word to listen to the different words, it will automatically change it to the word that they've listened to. So that might not be the correct one. So they'll have to delete and go back and try again. Stretched. And you can see it's changed it to stretch and I just want it to say stretch. But it is a great feature for students to have. So as they're typing out the word and the predicted text comes up on the keyboard, they can hold down and make sure that the word that they're typing is what they want by listening to it. Rainbow. And then they know what they're typing is correct. Okay, so we've gone back to settings and typing feedback and I'm gonna turn on speak words now. And it's similar to hold to speak predictions, but when you're typing, it'll talk the words out rather than you holding on the keyboard and listening. So let's retype the word rainbow. Rainbow. And you can see that as I've typed the word, it talks it back to me. If I keep typing. Ah. Uh, big. It's going to read out every single word that I've written. And that can be really good for students who need that audio feedback. The only suggestion I'd give you is make sure you don't have speak words on if you have voice control on, otherwise it becomes an infinite loop of words being typed out and listened to and typing out again. You can have a go and see what actually happens, but it can be a little bit annoying. So the best thing to do is have a look at what speak selection does, then have a look at what speak screen does and have a look at what typing feedback does. Have a play around with the highlight content, the words, the sentences, words and sentences and the word colours and even the different speaking rates and the different voices. See what they can do and then trial it out with your students and see what they like better. Do they like speak selection? Do they like speak screen? Does the controller work well for them? Is typing feedback really handy when they're typing out that they can hold on different words on the keyboard for it to talk back to them? And do they need things like speak words turned on? So while they're typing out, they can hear what's being typed out. It can be a really good way for students when they're first learning how to type, especially students who are in year one and year two, and they're still learning the alphabet. And so when you're still learning the alphabet and then you come to a keyboard situation where the letters are all jumbled up, it makes it even harder for them. And I think we need to remember that sometimes when we're trying to get our students to be typing out different words. Use those different tools that are there. Enough. So students can hear different words. They can have words spelt to them. Students can listen to the different words. Rainbow. They can look up the meanings of words. They can have those words spelt out to them. Capital R, A, I, N, V, O, W. And they also have the option to listen on the predictive text on the keyboard. Rainbows, rainbows. Or also to listen to those words and sentences as they get typed out.